in the 1980s, the plateau, which was a area of, of recent arrivals and, and immigrants to Montreal with uh, different uh, restaurants and little delis and bakeries from people from all over Europe. There's not one bar. There was no not bar. One, or not, not one club. The Attracted was. to it. Attracted uh, bohemians and poets and musicians and bars and people doing things. And started put it, setting up bars where people would play. Like weird bands like the Gruesomes and, and things like that. It, it, it established a reputation as being hip and cool which attracted people who wanted to be amongst hip and cool people. And so that became sort of a trendy neighborhood. When you have a trendy neighborhood, you have people who want to do things like turn the trendy neighborhood into condominium space so that mm. people who have a little bit of money can live the, the full Bohemian Montreal experience and have a place in that area. And when those people actually start moving in after a while, well, I have an important job in the daytime. I'm a financial broker. I have to sleep at night and this noise is annoying me. So I need to tell that bar to shut up so I can enjoy my condo space in this hip area so I can go to work tomorrow. So the bars have to go somewhere else. So all I'm saying is go somewhere else. And that's, that's probably, that's the cycle. So it can start all over again and, and bands can play, make a place cool. Squares can move in at a high rent and tell the bars to shut up and then the bars can go somewhere else.